<laughs> I'm not kidding. Like it was like from eight to eight thirty is my unwind time. Eight thirty, I, I am asleep. I wake up at five thirty. Like it was like clockwork. Like sh- super structured like that. Do you ever miss it? Like just being like um. That? I do miss how efficient I was yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, but you know, not having a social life, I f- like, okay. I, I wouldn't say I didn't have a social life. I was on Tinder. Like, <laughs> ah, yes. The social life of Tinder. But it, like even <laughs> Babe, my, you have 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even and his kidding. letter is like Tinder messages. Uh, <laughs> 815 to 817. We are here again today with another Fish Tank podcast episode. This world famous, or should I say world dominating Twitch streamer has been absolutely popping off online with some of the most consistent uploads and streams I've seen across every platform. Formerly a NASA worker who was definitely aware of the aliens this whole time and just did not tell us for some reason. He continues to challenge himself with uh, content like Knife only to Gold and Competitive, coaching all sorts of players, no matter their rank in Valorant, and constantly inspiring Twitter to start investing in medals to decorate their hands with. Joel, (laughs) the people need to know, how much can you deadlift? How much can I deadlift? Yes. Well, on my peak, when I was weighing like 175, I did 315. Wow. And that was like 175 of like pure muscle. Yeah, I was pretty lean. Now though, I weigh like 155. I'm I'm still lean, but I did lose a lot of muscle. You weigh 155 yeah, pounds. Yeah, I'm lean. I'm like very. I'm too lean. So like, I if I were to deadlift, maybe like 225. I literally weigh more than you. Yeah, that's well, crazy. That's, that's not good. Is it? Why wait, is that not good? Is it because because I'm trying to like eat and He's gain dense. mass. So over. you've you've accomplish this no but i've like i weighed that even when i wasn't working out oh shit so you're just converting fat to muscle that's yeah all. yeah there's oh, a difference yeah okay, yeah okay, yeah okay okay damn you yeah. lost like 20 pounds of muscle that's crazy yeah it you was like bulky it, well it was during covid and i couldn't go to the gym mm. and like i was also gaming a lot so it's like my appetite wasn't always the best i was like skipping meals sometimes yeah it was it was not the best but that's fair that's well, right. I I personally know nothing about your NASA employee, yeah. uh, just history. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far you went with that. Like, if you even if you went to like anti gravity area, <laughs> you could have worked with that along the way. Like, what was, can you start from? I want to know more about that. What is the, the history of that? The his, the entire history of how I even got the job there, or just like all the work stuff I worked on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like how you got the job, what you worked on. All right, all right, all right. Why you quit it? You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, Maybe I mean, I guess fired. it would. Yeah, yeah, it got so. Yeah, apparently you can't snore cocaine. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. No, yeah, uh, his director said blast off, and he had a completely yeah, different. I was, you know, they were sending sending mixed signals. You know, <laughs> I, understand, uh, I understand. Considering they're NASA, you'd think they would have good communication, but um, <laughs> no. Uh, so I walked into Area Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto sprinting his way there. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess like I would start like how I even got the job or how I ended up like even working there. But I was actually a content creator. I was like a three viewer Andy for like three years. And like I, I wanted to be like a full time content creator out of high school. And right. I tried, streamed all the time. And in my eyes, I was like, oh, dude, I need to do something more. Like I need to put in more effort. So in my eyes, I was like, okay, I just need to stream more hours. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't the answer. I needed to like. But never is. People, no. people yeah. think. That's the answer. It's not. No, yeah. It's, it's diversifying. That's what I'm saying. Well, the thing is, like, you know, if you stream, like, 20 hours, but nobody watched, did you even stream? You know what I mean? Like, that's that's how I see it. Or that's how I see it now. But uh, I thought, you know, I'm like, oh, I stream 12 hours. Maybe I got to stream 18 hours, and that, that way I'll pop off. And then, uh, you know, I didn't do any YouTube. I didn't, like, branch out. I didn't try and, like, do anything to kind of bring in eyes even though I felt like I'm the same person, not like anything changed. Yeah. Um, and you're and just like, you know who I need to consult? NASA employees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, after it didn't work out and I'm like, okay, this isn't paying the bills and like I need to like live. So and my parents were like, oh, go back to school, you know, go back to school, be like a normie. And I was like, all right, fine. They said that, be a normie. No, 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 no. They, they said a lot more harsh words. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you low life piece of shit. <laughs> you are 25 and you don't even have a college degree you don't have a good job you know and yeah my like, dad gave me to 24 to for the music thing to work out and yeah. then he was like you need to go back to school at 24 and at 24 is when i got nominated for a grammy and i was like and he was like okay you can you That's can pursue this. you can do so. you can keep doing your thing <laughs> yeah and uh so i went back to school and i was like all right you know what i'm gonna treat video game or school like a video game where i'm just gonna put in like as much effort as i do in my video games quit video games entirely went back to school 
And I took like four classes the first semester, like a normal person. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this was pretty easy. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to. Yeah, actually. Yes, yes. I took eight classes the next semester. And I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cool if I had a. 12. No. I was like, like, if I had an internship. So I was like, all right, let me, let me just start applying for internships. I look around. NASA was looking to scoop up some people, right? They had 37 open positions for their internships. And I was Mm -hmm. like, all right, 37. Surely I get one, one of them to respond. So I applied to all 37 of those positions. That seems about fair. And 36 of them rejected me. They, (laughs) because I went to a community college, right? Mm -hmm. Like no, like a no name community college. No one cares. I barely passed high school. Sure. And, uh, mood yeah and then one <laughs> of them they gave me an interview and i was like that's all i wanted what is an interview at nasa like you know so i was like okay cool i started YouTube preparing video, like two entire weeks for this interview like i'm looking up questions i'm like what are they going to ask me uh, you know how do i like structure all of my answers to be the perfect answer and then uh it comes to interview day you know he starts grilling me on these questions and i start grilling them back with all the answers <laughs> and I, was like, I was like oh you got some for me you know and i had everything lined up you know and uh you know he was cool he was really cool and then his phone goes off and it, he had the office theme song as his ringtone and i was like this is my time to shine you know i've watched the office a few times so i was like oh you watch the office uh, and he's like oh yeah i've seen it like five times i was like five times I was like holy shit i've only seen it two times and he's like <laughs> he's, he's, he's sorry he's like dude that's it he's like, <laughs> he starts to get those me. numbers up yeah that's what he said that's literally what he said and and i was like i was like dang he's like well you got to get those numbers up by summer and i was like wait Sorry, are you saying that I got the I got the position? He's like, he's like, just expect an email from us. And I was like, I was like, shit. I was like, oh my god, this is Ooh. sick. Yeah, and that's a good approach to take. See, I hear somebody else's phone going off. I'm like, really? Not during our meeting? Like, you didn't turn that turned out into silence? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like, I mean, I just wanted any other to... ringtone would have gone completely different. Oh, dude, wow. The just the universe. Yeah, if it would have been any other ringtone. Yeah, it probably. I, I don't know what would have happened, but. That's how it ended up happening. <laughs> and the then, other ringtone, there could have been like another song that he recognized, but no, it was the office. Well, no, but only. even having a song as a ringtone is pretty like, that's like old. Like that's True. not new. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not like a new thing. Everyone just has default. The iPhone. Dude, yeah. Dude, I think, I think, I think <laughs> for years I've just been on buzz. As yeah, a matter no. of fact. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So yeah. it's just I hate crazy. It when my phone makes noises, actually. I really just genuinely hate it. I don't know if I'm if I'm the only one that thinks that, but I seriously hate it when my phone makes any noise. Yeah, whatsoever. I have mine on silent all the time. It just reminds me of my alarm. Like you're waking up, like because it's also my alarm clock. Every time it does anything, I'm just like I'm forgetting something. That's like the first thing that comes through. I actually get chills whenever yeah. I hear an alarm <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in like a movie or anything. Yeah. 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 Just bad memories. It like conditioned you. It's like Pavlov dog. Do you every time you hear that sound, they're like, dude, someone should make a prank like that. You know, like, just like just, just <laughs> over the intercom, it just plays like the alarm <laughs> sound. <laughs> You know, the you will wake up every single kid in school if you did that. Yeah, like you, you break into your principal's office, you play that one sound across the entire PA system. Every single kid in class would be like, "Oh God!" Just a <laughs> pulse of fear just through it's the like entire t- school body. No, it's, it's like, like a school. torture device, you know. Like you just have kids <laughs> strapped in, you just pop it blaring into their headphones. Are you guys those type of people that will wake up after one alarm, or do you set like multiple? I wake up. I wake up usually before my alarm. I don't know I why. Do that. I do that sometimes. It's like oh, three minutes. Easy. I'm like, fuck, I could have had three more minutes of sleep. I set one alarm and I just hit snooze. That's what I do. Wow, do you, you, like you wake up like another few minutes later. Yeah. And then it'll it'll come back again in like ten minutes oh, and okay. remind you. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't trust the snooze, so I just set like when I need to wake up within like the ten minute range of when I need to wake up. So oh, you've like got the three alarm. hundred alarms, don't no, you? No, no, no. That's three or four alarms going off within the span of ten minutes. That is the that's, that's, <laughs> there, 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 there it is. is. There it is. He really actually moved. There it is. He jumped, dude. He jumped. Dude, there it is. There it is. That thing See, right there. I think for that reason, Nightmare I've changed fuel. my alarms over the years. Like mine is the. I've heard. I've had that one before. I switched off that years ago. Yeah. But I still remember it. I'm telling you, you put have, the fear are, of God. Are you one of those people? I have. Yeah, so that's me. Every, no, literally, you could scroll down my alarms for a whole like two just minutes. Just the bottom for viewers. I have like at least a hundred <laughs> alarms. <laughs> Do you have yeah. so many because I just have them for every day, and I never delete them. I mean, Sometimes I you map, you nap in the middle of the day, and yeah. then you wake up after a certain amount. Or of time. I'll just have like I'll just be like, hey Siri, set an alarm at this time, and they just creates a new yeah. one, or it'll turn on an existing one, and you know I just mm. I can't be bothered. You know, <laughs> actually type it in like a peasant, <laughs> so I'll have AI do it for me. <laughs> I uh, I can get through like I have two alarms set and then if I sleep through both of them that's it I'm, my day's over. <laughs> it's cost mm. me it's cost me at least seventy five dollars because of a parking ticket. Oh, I slept no. right through it. Yep. You were you were saying something before I fucking alarm 
I hijacked you. I've lost my train of thought. The alarm just completely reached <laughs> <my mind. laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. It's it just like it's a my new stomach day. hurts every time I hear it. I'm like, man, school? It's time to get up. <laughs> like, ah. Yeah. Oh. Dude, I had a nightmare of that I was back in school and I walked into a classroom and I didn't know anything on the board and it was like basic math. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I tried doing long division on stream earlier. How did that go? It was terrible. Yeah. I have no idea how to divide. If it's I have fine. to write stuff to. down, it's impossible. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay, so office alarm. Yes. Uh, oh, that's what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. So uh, office thing goes off. You know, I start talking to him about the office, and he's like, all right, we got you with the position. I got the email, all everything, you know, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. You know, it was a paid internship, and I was like, dude, this is insane. NASA. And, yeah. What does and, it even stand for? Uh, Wait, national? Uh, <laughs> national? Uh, astronomical? Astronomical? Sensual Association? Assholes. Yeah. Assholes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, National Association nice Space Ash. and Administration or something? Not, maybe. Nice I thought Ash Aeronautics. Oh, oh, yeah. Aeronautics. National yeah. Aeronautics and Space... And, no, Administration? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible with acronyms. Nautical, <laughs> astrology, sexy ass. There, you <laughs> yeah. go. there it is. Yeah. There it is. The yeah. whole thing. Um, and then day one, I remember day one walking into the internship, you know, everybody was like dressed up, you know, everyone you know, looking fancy and whatnot. And I'm meeting like everybody else, right? Where all the other interns get into one giant room. There's like 50 of us. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. And we all sit down and everyone has to like sit up and start to kind of introduce themselves. Right. And I was like, all right. You know, this is this is gonna be fun. Wait, you know, like preschool? Know. Like yeah, like everyone just literally stands up and just introduce nice. themselves. You know, yeah, icebreaker kind of thing. And the person to my right starts, and it goes, it's going around the room that way. So I'm last, and I'm like, damn it. I hate, I hate last, you know? <laughs> and the first guy sits up, and he's like, yeah, I'm working on my PhD at MIT. I'm like, yep, I do not belong here. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> immediately, I'm like looking at the closest exit. I'm like, how the hell do I get out of here? You know? and, <laughs> and then the next person sits up. They're like working on my master's at UF. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is, I'm, I go to like some clown community college. I'm like, dude, I'm working on my IT degree. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> If I were in your position, I would be so happy to be like, I am from community college. <laughs> yeah. I got here through the interview process. What's up, guys? Yeah, yeah. And and then it just goes around. Everyone has insane credentials. And it gets to me, you know, at the end. And I stand up and I'm like, <clears throat> uh, I go to this this clown community college. And everyone's just like looks around. It's quiet. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, working on my IT degree. And everyone's like, they're like, I've never even heard of that place. I was like, perfect. You don't know what to expect. I'm like a wild card, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that'll buy you points just being like oh i'm not trying to over exceed anything i'm telling you what i legitimately am this is who i am i don't have like uh i guess many outstanding credits or anything like that yeah but no nobody was i mean yeah that. they just kind of you know they were kind of just doing their own thing and i don't i was i just felt kind of awkward but i know worst case down. scenario they think you're dumb best case scenario they think you're a fucking savant yeah yeah i don't i don't know what it, it could have been but. like some like you just had the, this most insane paper or something like that, and they you're hand like the, fucked you're you. The Matt Damon of that college. You know, <laughs> yeah, from, uh, what the hell is that? I don't know was that. Like? I don't know about that. But yeah, and then during the interview, I Goodwill was, Hunting. Yeah, you were yeah, a Goodwill yeah. Hunting. Yeah, Goodwill. Yeah, 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 Goodwill Hunting. That's the one. No, so during the entire like internship, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try my hardest. So they offered me like a full time position afterwards, yeah. you know. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. I went home and studied after work, and you know, just that's all I did. I literally yeah. like just woke up and breathed that shit. Uh, and then afterwards, you know, they're like, hey, so we can offer you a full time position if you graduate next, you know, semester. And I'm like, dude, I just started college. Like I took I took, <laughs> I took eight classes and then I took four before that. So I've only taken 12 classes at college. And and then I was like, yeah, all right, I'll graduate next semester. And I took 24 classes, I and not 24. I took I took 28 credit hour classes. But it was that is so much. Work. It was uh, it was. 10 classes it was 10 classes yeah yeah a normal just labs. for just for ki uh, people like that aren't in college like a most? normal semester a full schedule semester is 12 credits yeah 12, yeah yeah, yeah. 12, so you had a full paid time or you had a you, you had, had over time. double like, yeah yeah and i had I and had while working the internship right? while working the internship yeah and and uh, I had to talk to like five different people at the school to get it approved. Yeah, because I was like the dean, the higher up dean. They have to like sign like through eight different people. I'm like, listen, let me do this. And I was like, I'm telling you, I can do. This. I'm taking eight now, and I have all A's. I'm like, let me do this, please. I can do this. And how I'm did like, you, did you explain how did to you them actually make that schedule work? Because even me That's taking insane. like twelve to fifteen every year, I was just struggling to make like, okay, this actually overlaps with another class. They all like ran one after. 
another it, or... it's not that they would run over any other like half of them were online oh okay and okay. then like the other half were not so it's like i would have to go in person and then after that i would go so home. you had a normal schedule in class yeah. and then a normal schedule out of class and then i had to study for all of them and internship and study for that as well yes what were the classes oh you were taking oh god it was like uh data structures um it was like database two um, cybersecurity, uh, forensic analysis Jesus. stuff. It was Holy like computer fuck, science. Man. That is so um, much information. Calc, like, calc two, calc two and lab. Calculus as well. Physics. Calc three, the same. <laughs> 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 physics, uh, physics two and calculus two. Uh, and then it was like, I don't remember. It was like a bunch of Jesus. like, dude, that's shit. so much math. Like just thinking about it literally hurts my brain. Like yeah, I, yeah. the farthest I ever got in math was like stats. I cannot do numbers. Well, it was, oh, I thought you meant like, mind. like the addition of so many classes. I thought you were talking about like simple addition of like, no, oh my no, God, no, that's no, four no. classes plus three classes. No, oh, okay, no, okay. I can do that one. Don't worry. I got that one down. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying like I, I the didn't. farthest math class I got to was like statistics in college. Oh, I didn't good. even pass algebra the first one. I was so bad at college, but I wanted to touch on, you said, <laughs> you said something, uh, or you said that like you studied at home for this job, right? Yeah. This is something that I feel like not enough people know. Like if you want to be, and I can just tell from the creative industry, cause that's what I'm in or the creative industry is if you don't, if you're going to school for like music, right. Mm. And all you do is the music stuff and the homework and don't really do anything else. You're not, not going to fucking yeah. make it. Oh, yeah. anything creative relates. You have yeah. to exactly put like in. That if not double, like as much time as you possibly can into that craft. Yeah. Like outside of everything you're doing. But right. that's, that's all I wanted. It, I it's know, just yeah. such that's, an interesting, it is, yeah. it is super important to do that. Yeah. And when I was, when I was doing that, like all during all that time, I had zero social life, like actually zero of social course. life. Where would you fit social yeah, life? You couldn't. I, and I barely even fit the gym. I'd go to the gym like three or four times a week. And I used to go like very free and I would make it like 40 minutes. I had a, like a planner and I planned out everything. Cooking, when I'm eating, gym, what I'm studying, what subject I'm studying, all of my classes, everything was methodically planned out. How much I'm sleeping, when I'm going to bed. Oh my God. You are like the most hyper type A personality I've ever met in my life. <laughs> That's <laughs> in genuinely insane. And how much were you sleeping like throughout the week? Eight hours. Yeah, so oh, you what? Eight, still hours, got eight, eight hours, eight hours still got every eight single hours. day. I guess you kind of have to with how much like time. Yeah, you're yeah but you would have to like plan yeah. exactly when you pass out. Yeah, it w that's exactly what it was. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like it was like from eight to eight thirty is my unwind time. Eight thirty, I, I am asleep. I wake up at five thirty. Like it was like clockwork, like sh super structured like that. Do you ever miss it? Like just being like um, that. I do miss how efficient I was. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but you know, not having a social life, I like. Okay, I, I wouldn't say I didn't have a social life. I was on Tinder. Like, <laughs> ah, yes, the social life of Tinder. But it, like, even my... Babe, you have 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. And his kidding. letter is like Tinder messages. Uh, <laughs> 8.15 to 8.17. I'm not kidding. That's what it was. Like It was like, hey, listen, I'm super busy. I have two hours. That's it. You and literally that's probably kind of attractive to certain people. I, like, I guess so. To follow. I, that's what it was. So I would go there. I would hang out with them for two hours, and then I'd go home. I'm like, hey, I have, I have to go home, and I would do that. That was my only social life, my only escape from everything. It was like it was something that grounded me, I guess. <laughs> but then after a while, I felt dead inside because I'm like with the different people, and I'm like, okay, this sucks. Like, like I'm, there's no emotional connection. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. this is awful. You can't form an emotional connection if you give them like an hour, exactly. Like, even even an hour a day is like not enough. I feel. But. Yeah. And, and so. it was, it was terrible. I didn't enjoy that part of it, but I did like how efficient I was. And I was like studying like different stuff. And then even after my classes, when I was working there full time, I would go home and study like classes for fun. Like I do crash courses and stuff and on just like, like just to learn you it. You heard like, it here, folks. If you want to get into NASA, this is what you have to do. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't, have, you don't have to do... You don't have to be that. I it's guarantee you any of those fucking MIT, UM, fucking <laughs> UF kids were not working even half... A, or we're not... Yeah, we're not working even half as hard. As I don't you. know, man. People in MIT kind of go kind of crazy. I don't know if they're I, down to that level. That's insanity, but that's for any human being, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I know is like I just wanted to be the best at that, so... Yeah. And that's what, whenever I get fixated on something. It reflects in, I was about to say, like in Valorant or like yeah. even streaming, streaming or doing content, content creating. Like, like I'm just like, okay. I have to be yeah. the best. Yeah. yeah. And then I just grind and then grind and then grind. And then I'm just like super efficient in that sense. But um, so that's just what I, I did with, with school. And I'm like, all right. And then I didn't play any video games at all. And then eventually I started getting back into video games. And I'm like, dude, I kind of miss content creating. I, I'm like watching like a bunch of other content creators. And I'm like, I could do this. I know I can do this. Like I literally like. 
I don't know. I just really felt like I did. And not only that, but working there was cool and all, but working like a nine to five government job, it's very, um, you, it's very coasty, you know, like yeah. it's like if you put in a shit ton of effort, they, it's the same outcome. It's the same outcome. You know, you might be able to get a little raise, you know, a little Christmas bonus or whatever at the end of the year, but it's like a little 5k Christmas bonus after putting in like a shit ton of effort. Yeah. But um, you know, something where you have like an uncapped ceiling, like content creating or like anything in that sort of field where it's like you put in a shit ton of effort, you get a lot of reward. But if you start mm. to coast, you start to take it easy, you're going to get punished hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, where it's true. like a, a job like that, where it's like nine to five, if you start to coast, um, you know, you can get by, you know, and it's like, you still get the same thing, you know, it's whatever. Uh, and there's I, safety in government jobs. Yeah. It's like a safety net kind of thing. So I, I understand that aspect and it's a lot, a lot of, like, very reliable for a lot of people. But mm. for me, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to the moon, baby. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the first man to come from a community college in NASA, yeah. graduate college in one semester, essentially, <laughs> and then went to the moon as an IT guy. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been an amazing story. Yeah, that would have been, it would have been decent. Yeah. Yeah, so then you, I guess the, Crux of the story is then you went to, you worked there for a little bit, then just got straight into content creation? Well, so I worked there for a little bit and then I was like, I kind of miss content creating and it's not even that I was like content creating on the side of working. I was like, all right, I'm just going to quit. Oh, and shit. And yeah, I would not recommend this, by no, the way. No, I don't, didn't do that even don't for do music. That. Don't do that. It's terrible. It was terrible. I had money saved up from work, so I was able to live. I was, I had like six months where I could just live and like, you know, uh, and, and still be okay. Um, and I'm like, okay, six months is my time timeline, right? And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So what was your official job title at NASA? Uh, it was like software engineering one. Okay. And how much did that pay exactly? Like per So year? floor, it's not that a lot of people are like, oh dude, you must've been getting paid a shit ton of money. It's like, dude, it's Florida, you know? And like the competing prices in Florida, it was like, it's between for software engineering one, it's between 55 and 65 K for software really engineering. Okay. That's still one. a solid job. Yeah. But you know, compared to what people expect, you yeah. know, it's yeah, software it's engineering like, two is $1 million. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Software engineering two, even in Florida, it's, it's like, it's like 80 to hundred K. Like it's really, because the living expensive is also a lot cheaper in Florida too. Mm -hmm. So that, that's also a huge thing too. Fair. Um, so if you were to get a software engineering position here in California, you know, it's going to be way more. Mm -hmm. Um, but so, so I had like, did you meet 60K. an alien? Yes. Did you fuck the alien? I did. Can what I fuck it? the alien? Well, have you guys watched Futurama? I <laughs> <laughs> have. I'm not. Okay. I, not I love Futurama. Futurama. All right. It's one of my favorite yeah, shows. So of all yeah. He's trying there to was, get me to watch. There Futurama. was like Leela, you know, it's like yeah. a Leela sure. type, type oh, girl. Oh, great. Yeah. And, Amazing. Uh, She's the the, one -eyed? the cyclist. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wood. Yeah. Wood. Yep. Wood. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. And then Widowmaker, of course. You know. Oh kinda, my God! Don't get me started. Let's. So blue. Go back. Just a, just a random blue but, person. No, you know what? And you know what's funny? I used to I used to tell people a lot, like um, you know, uh, the people I'd hang out with. Um, I, I'd be like, you know, do you know any government secrets? You know that you worked in NASA, and I was like, all right, don't tell anybody. All right, and I was like, the Earth is flat. <laughs> 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 that one really threw them off. Yeah, yeah. They I were was like serious. <laughs> they were like, they're like, wait, seriously? They're like, I knew it. You know, some some people they're like, I knew it. They're like, you know, it's crazy. Like, I didn't believe the moon landing was real anyway. And I was like, it's not. You know, it, and I'm just. I saw the soundstage. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, we filmed it. You know, I was I, I was on the set. You know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking seventies or sixties, whatever. I was fucking carrying my foot to that Buzz Aldrin guy or whatever his name is. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. Small feet. Yeah. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. <laughs> as you would expect from a guy that faked the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and and a lot of people like actually believe, and I'm like, dude, how? Like, it's it's very real, you know. Like, there's a lot of, you know, like, what do you think we do in there? You know, like, at, we just work for fun. <laughs> yeah. Yes, genuinely, yeah. sounds so, like it was fun. I mean, when you hear NASA, it's kind of like this mystical thing, like all powerful, like they know everything about space. Like, it just it seems very like. They're the preeminent people in space. Anything, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, it is, it's just, yeah, it's it's cool, and like so a lot of the buildings are really cool. Like there was a giant building. It's called the VAB. It's like the Vertical Assembly Building. That's where like they stack the rocket, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that thing is huge. There's like 500 floors. I'm not kidding. Like five. Like you you would have to take an elevator to the top just so you could take another elevator to the top. Like it was an elevator of an elevator, and all each elevator had like. 100 floors jesus if not more neat yeah and then because it, it would go from 1 to 99 and after 99 it would be like 1a 2a 3a and it's like it would just keep racking up and once you're at the top there i'm not kidding like that's like the level of the planes like you can see 
it's crazy how high up how you flat. are. Yeah, how here. flat the earth is. <laughs> 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 What's funny? I posted on my story. I remember doing that. I like I took a video and I was like, "You can really see how flat." flat the earth. Earth. <laughs> it's I just for some reason I just love fucking with people. Like that. It's so funny. Yeah, no. I can't help but notice there's not a single curve out there. <laughs> Where's the curve? Question mark. You know. So. Yeah, and, and it was cool. Like hands down to your ass. <laughs> it was cool because like everyone there, like even like you know my managers and all that stuff. Like everyone's like really they're cool, really funny. They're great. That's the thing that I miss the most from NASA was like the coworkers. Yeah, they were all like super smart, and they were like you know very funny, down to earth people, very helpful. I learned so much from them, you know, because like they had a lot of experience beforehand. Yeah. I didn't. I had to learn a lot, so I was just like a sponge walking around, you know, just soaking up as much information yeah. as possible. I miss that me. as well from like working, uh, like a normal job is just like meeting new people every day and then having that camaraderie with your with your coworkers and stuff like that. Yeah. I find it a lot in streaming and music, but it's just like not the same because you have to be there. It's like a you have to be there so let's all suffer together. Yeah. Yeah, 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 mm, yeah. So they were actually like helpful and welcoming to yeah. you, like letting you know uh, new things. Well, there's not that. a lot yeah. of competition. It's not like you're in it you to know get yeah. over somebody else. It's you don't have to like fuck all... someone over to get a job. Like oh, okay. Exactly. It was more just like we were a, a team, right? And it's like they wanted me to do well. So that like they were super helpful with it. It was nice. It was really, I miss that the most. And they're cool, cool people and stuff. And, sometimes, and then you ditch them. And, and then I, yeah. And then that's when I like, I literally quit. And I had, I remember 300 YouTube subscribers. I had like oh, man, 5K on TikTok. Right. Oh, shit. I still had three viewers on Twitch. But I'm like, nah, I'm doing it different this time. I was like, this time I'm going to do it right. And I had like a plan. I wrote down, I used my like efficient techniques to to write down (laughs) like exactly the plan. And I had like, it was like a nine step process. Still have it. I still have the notebook. I still, I'm still following it two years later. Um, I'm on step number seven. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. So I'm still. And And nine is world domination. Nine, nine is uh, a step towards world domination. But I had to write more steps. So yeah. I, I like I think like six months ago I wrote down more and now I'm at like I think twelve or thirteen steps written down. Wow. And Shit. I don't ever leak any of the steps yeah. ahead Damn of it. time to people. <laughs> But I do tell people the steps up until where I'm at now. And okay. yeah. So like, for example, like my first step was um, to get Radiant, right? Valorant, which is like the yeah, top So rank. just be the best in the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's which... such a good place to start. <laughs> like if you're going to start somewhere, you might as well be at the top of something. You know? Yeah. So it was like, I'm going to get top 500 in Valorant. And mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, I used to have Counter-Strike experience. I was semi-professional in Counter-Strike and it was very similar to Counter-Strike. I was like, all right, this is easy. This is something I could do. But what was funny was before Valorant, before I even tried being a content creator, or when I was kind of like starting off being a content creator, I was streaming World of Warcraft. Not a lot of people know this, but really? I was... You're a WoW guy? Yeah, I was. I had a lot of rank ones in the world, in WoW, in World of Warcraft. So like, you were up there with Mitch? He, well, no, 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 He's because he's PvP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did PvP, but I wasn't I wasn't like rank one. I was like top 0.05% or yeah. something. Where it, or We've had him one. on the show. Oh, actually? Yeah, oh, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so like... I had like gladiator title in, in World of Warcraft okay. for PvP, but no, this was like PvE. I, I was like dabbling. So in you PvE. were doing like world firsts and shit like that. Kind of like yeah. I wasn't in guilds where they were doing world first, but I was like doing like mythic mm-hmm. dungeons and st- or mythic dungeons and like uh, mythic raid. And uh, for those, they have like logs where you can like log against other people your class, right? For other people who are doing mythic dungeons. For my class, in some of the bosses that I did, I had like the highest damage. Um, so you were just like fucking, I was was literally like number one on some of the polls, which was crazy because I'm competing against like, uh, China and that then China, it's like very big, right? Like it's like, they're always known for like being like at the top. And I was like number one against them too. Um, what was your name back then? Just, uh, I think it was just Joel's. I think it was Joel's. Jolly Goodman. Jolly Goodman. It was, uh, it wasn't Jolly Goodman. I mean, that was like way back. That was like high school era. yeah. 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 Um, which is, that's a, that's a good, uh, talking point too, but, um, no, it was just Joel's, I think, or Joel's, yeah, I think it was just Joel's. So yeah, like if they want to, if you want to look me up, it's just Joel's. I think I played on Illidan and I had like, yeah, some rank one pulls and it was crazy. And then my friend was like, dude, World of Warcraft is dead content. Don't stream that shit. And then, you know, he, good, good uh, good get on him. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, dude, get off that shit. He's like, go get on Valorant. And I'm like, all right, all right, we have, we'll go to Valorant, you know, fine. Yeah. I'll do it. Dude, transitioning from Warcraft to Valorant has got to be the hell of this most jumpiest thing ever. Yeah. No, it's, it was uh, hard at first, like, but I got, it was like riding a bike because I used yeah, to play yeah, Counter-Strike right, yeah. so much. So, um, I got really good, really fast. I got to Immortal in like a week of playing the game and then, <laughs> <In a week. laughs> yeah, but 
But uh, but to get to radio, I didn't know that. Part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always remember one of the first few words you said to me when we first met at a Korean barbecue. You said, "I have no idea how to aim. It's all about like how you use the abilities and how you like learn from your positioning." And then I saw your aim, and I was like, "God fucking damn, it, I don't have that." <laughs> then you're well, a load like, of so. shit is what it is. No, no, but it's like shit. it's my aim is not. I guess like the way that I think about it, it's like my aim is not that good compared to like other radiant players. Like, okay, play, people okay, who okay. have been radiant, their aim is like really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not that good, and when when it comes to aim compared to them, yeah, I'm more of like strategic, you know, game sense, comms, you know, mental uh, positioning, that kind of stuff. And yeah, but to get to Radiant from Immortal, that took me a long time. I think it took me like five months. Yeah. Yeah, where I was just grinding. And then as soon as I got that, I'm like, all right, we did it. And then stage two. Stage two. And now it was like free coaching. Who doesn't want free, free coaching, coaching from a Radiant player? Fair and enough. I'm like, dude, that is just, it's free. Like, who doesn't want that? Mm -hmm. So then I was like, all right, guys, I made a TikTok. I was like, I just hit Radiant. I'm giving away free coaching to everyone who joins the Discord. And then my Discord just started blowing the fuck up. Like, I think I got 3K members overnight. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And and then it started, like, just huge. Like, everything was starting. And I was giving free coaching to everyone. I did that for, like, four months where I did, like, three sessions every day for three months on for stream? free. On stream for free. How long was each probably session? probably had to uptake the, uh, the moderator status on that if it was a server that was filling up overnight. Yeah, yeah. It was it was hard to kind of, like, A lot like of shit posting? A lot of shit posting. A lot of people just doing whatever. But for the most part, it was pretty tame. It wasn't too crazy. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. We wholesome got... Wholesome community. Yeah. Wholesome, wholesome, like, individuals. Everyone trying to learn. Everyone trying to improve and stuff. And, and you were on... You were streaming each one of these sessions on Twitch the entire time. Yeah, well. the entire time. Yeah, and what's when did funny? You see the first spike in your viewership when you were doing that. Um. Well, when I was doing that, like I, pro I was probably getting like around like fifty to sixty viewers. Mm -hmm. So um, a huge jump. Yeah, that's which a huge jump I mean, from that's, three. Even then, like 50, 60 viewers, you can make maybe not a solid living, but you can like make, can make some pretty fun money to like live. Yeah. Like, and that's what I was. That's what I was doing for for a while. So like, I had like fifty to sixty, and then. After the coaching, um, I started a new, like a, a series, right? Where I did like classic only to Immortal, yeah. right? That was my first ever like kind of challenge thing. And that one blew up a little bit too. And I got, I got a lot of views on YouTube for that because I was also like cutting it up. Yeah. Um, the coaching and uploading it onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then I did the challenge, the classic only to Immortal. I got from like that uh, 50 to 60 viewers to about like 100 and I was like, oh my God, dude, I had a hundred. I remember like freaking. Out. I was like, I had a hundred like consistent viewers. I'm like, holy shit, what the hell? It's crazy. And I remember being so happy about that because it was like the best feeling ever. And uh, yeah, no, it was, it was cool. And then from there, uh, I just consistently started like doing other stuff. And then I did a chamber cosplay because I was like, I saw chamber come out. Yeah. And then a lot of people oh, were like, yeah. oh yeah, you kind of look like chamber. And I was like, I was like, let me just dabble in the cosplay. Like, I don't mind. I'm just, I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I need to utilize every single asset I have. And I was like, well, I hit Radiant. I want to offer free coaching, you know, for like that. I have good gameplay. You know, maybe I, I need to be more charismatic, funny, whatever. You know, I'm not ugly. I mean, I could do some cosplays, right? So I'm just like, I'm, I'm like doing, trying to do everything and branch mm -hmm. out and like spider web effect as many people and pull them in as much as possible. So I'm like, I'm still doing that now where yeah. it's like, I'm, I'm dabbling in like other aspects, other channels, other stuff, mm -hmm. um, just to try and like pull as many eyes and branch out as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like, uh, something. I think that's what a lot of people don't really understand about content creation. If you're starting from literally, Really zero with no help from anyone you have to find yeah. a way for people to want to watch you yeah. in some massive way being the best at something is probably the easiest like well no no, no, no. <laughs> don't get me wrong it's not the easiest to be the best at something i'm like it's the easiest thing you can try to achieve to yeah. get to that point of like a starting zone but yeah. it's really hard to be the best at something yeah well so uh my dad used to tell me because i i wanted to be a baseball player when i grew up yeah or when i was younger yeah right and my dad was like, okay, in order for you to pursue this at all, you're going to need to be the best in the league. Okay, for a little bit, I was the best in my league. And he's like, that's not enough. You're going to have to be the best in Florida. And then that was when I was like, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I see how much, how long this is going to take. But it's just like, you have to at least be the best in your fucking area. Yeah. To like be able to even make something of it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, it's. It's tough. It's it's definitely super hard. It's super competitive. And I always like a lot of people are like, Joel's, I want to be a full time streamer, you know, we had any recommendation. And I'm like, dude, it's it's so it's so hard, man. It is so and it's so time consuming. People don't understand, like, they're like, Oh my god, treat this guy only streams for like five, six hours and then that's it. Like that's easy. That's less than eight hours no, a, a day. I'm like, dude, 
I don't think you guys understand like how much preparation and work goes even outside of streaming, let alone how how taxing it is streaming six hours. Like where you have to be like on, right? You gotta be yeah. funny. You gotta be alert. You gotta you know be interactive. You know. I think and, it was it's not even like it's not even about being funny while you're live. It's the whole idea of like attracting viewers to your stream to begin with because yeah. if somebody just sees your thumbnail on the Twitch viewer page like True. however bad the discovery page is they're just going to see you playing and if your title like doesn't drag you in because the thumbnails won't like thumbnails don't yeah, exist on Twitch yeah, it just yeah. grabs a random screenshot of whenever you're live if yeah. they see like oh you're just playing they're going to be like oh, I'm not going to click on that there's just another player if you can like draw them in with like something new with something specific to like what you're doing in the moment uh, yeah. I think that'll that's like the first step yeah, no, absolutely. Especially with Twitch. I mean, discoverability on Twitch is not good, it's, right? It's, it's horrible. Ass. So like, yeah. yeah, don't, you don't, you don't stream to grow. That's like the biggest thing that people have this misconception. You do you not grow to stream. You, Literally, you, you grow on every other platform, platform and, so you oh, yeah, can yeah, stream. Yeah, the, the idea that I, I like kind of look at it is like Twitch and streaming in general, it's like used to cultivate the community you already have built. It is not to build your community. It's to cultivate the one that you have. And how you build a community is through other platforms, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, every other platform except for Twitch. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you can do like cool stuff that could be kind of like a good cash grab or something, like like a subathons or something and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. But um, it's not that good for like growing unless you have like really, really like unique content that you can clip and post it on other platforms. Right? Yeah, like his subathon was like one of the most interesting subathons i've ever and because he he's cultivated his community yeah like i mean i love my community yeah. they're great i hate them but i love them <laughs> they're, they're really great that's good no, that's perfect you balance have, you have no idea how many short jokes i have to sit through every single day every single day oh they say it, they say it to me all the time and i'm not i'm like people that are just six foot and up and they still get short jokes and i'm like wow i don't even face that that much yeah but then it makes you think like oh my god when these people see me in person or like see me compared to another person that they know their height of and i'm like wow they're looking at me like that is a short motherfucker and i'm like five nine which is the average height yeah Dude, you want to know the first time i went to a yeah i know we, first time i went to uh owl uh it was the first time Overwatch I think, League. yeah oh yeah, yeah. Time time we all three went Files. together yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First time ever, the first person to recognize me came up to me and said, Are you too bold? I'm like, Yeah, nice to meet you, man. He's like, Oh, you really are short. What? And the then walked away. <laughs> and the then audacity. Walked away. The I was so mad. I and almost she, went home. She I was, was alone. so mad. She, it's not like she was doing it in front of her friend to be like, oh, she, watch no, this. She, she, she walked up alone and then walked away. No satisfaction. I was me. so mad. Anyone I was else? like, Mother. Fucker. <laughs> this bitch. I don't even I don't even think she laughed on her own while, while like Louie laugh. and I were laughing. It yeah. was so serious. It's what made me so mad. Like that wasn't even a joke. You're just an asshole. Yeah. yeah. But the yeah, that was my entire experience there. Everyone else was so fucking tall. That's really what the issue was. Why are gamers so lanky? Why are all of you so goddamn lanky in person? No, true. Like, I ran into like of... 20 foot giants at that place. It was so infuriating. Yeah. Yeah. It's there's... crazy because with how many bad postured people you see, like while they're streaming and everything, it's like you think that that would affect them somehow. You, know? <laughs> you think it would level the playing field for a guy mm. like me, but nope, they're just towering giants. Yeah. All right, I have a serious question. Sure. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill. Yep. Let's do it. Us three. Fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> <John, laughs> Good luck. I won't be offended at all. None of us will. I will. I would kill Louis. <laughs> <laughs> no bias, but I'd kill him too. <laughs> Man, this no, I can't do just this. Just to give you, just this. to give you preface as to why I would kill Louis. Louis, what is the one thing you sent me during one of the most oh. climactic moments of your life? Oh. So, you want to uh, tell everyone about I, that? So I got a uh, gastric bypass as a surgery because I was, you know, I wanted a big change in my life. Yeah. And um, right before I go to the hospital, like I'm stepping into the OR. Yeah. This is the last. Thing I he text sends. Tubold. I fucking hate you. <laughs> so just in case I died, that would be the last thing I ever told him. Oh my. <laughs> I want you guys to know how off guard I was when that message came through. I'm like, he's going into surgery today. I'll send him a message. I fucking hate you. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he just went radio silent. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to tell him he was funnier when he was fat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Fuck my kill. Let's go. You have to do it. He's gonna do the fucked up stuff. I'm just saying. Just saying. Louis will tamper with your mind, apparently. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna just because you offered this game, I'll have to kill you. I'm gonna have, that's just what it is. That's what it is. Whoever offers up the that's game, a, that's a smart move. I yeah, think. anyone who offers up the game. Wait, I'm, wait, I before would, you co- before you confirm that answer, this was run by all of us. So just whoever's presenting it, it could have been an yeah. idea from one of we us. All, yeah, yeah, we so. all came up with the idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, just a heads up. Fair is fair in love and war. I mean, I, I don't know, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He dropped right. the L word, so mm-hmm. take that into consideration. I'm okay. just saying, a little weird. I'm just saying, we all have the little same little early, interests. if anything. We do. It would, be, it would be weird to be married, though, because we're both named Christian. We are. We are. We weird. both do it like dessert. Cute, though. Yeah, it would be cute. You both have the same. But then again, I feel like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I just feel like I know Lou, I've known Louis so much longer, but also I know Fish pretty well, mm. and also I also know Tubal pretty well. <laughs> You got this. I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna marry the I'm, gonna, bag. I'm literally gonna be jerking <laughs> off to you guys dying. Right? <laughs> right. Well, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting that answer. There we go. <laughs> not bad. Not what bad. The that's a curveball no one it. expects. Okay, perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> well. Shit, I mean, he's already married to his job, right. so there you go. So okay, so you've been uh, you've been doing this thing where you've been playing in different servers, yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. I saw a TikTok of you where you were playing in the server, and then I guess there was a part two, but you didn't label it as. You mean a you, different region? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you okay. picked uh, the Middle East region, right? Or what? What is it called? Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. you ordered food because they told you that it was good. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking cool. You should make that like a, a whole little series. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's yeah. it, it, it did so well, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm literally that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm I'm going to Tokyo. I'm gonna be playing on Tokyo servers, and I'm gonna order like you know Japanese food. And I stuff. fucking love that. And it's, yeah, and you get just, them to order for you. That's sort of yeah. Well, just I, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna yeah. be like, hey, what's good? Well, I'm trying to get some food. What is your favorite? And food? then by the end of the game, the food will be there. So it's like yeah. And then I get to try and have a little you know mukbang. You know, like uh, for wait, for, wait, wait, what do you mean different regions? I thought you meant like like in Valorant. You in know, Valorant, you can you pick, pick servers. You know how you can have different. But then servers? how are you ordering food from? Oh, well, it's man. California, it's bro. Space. It's L.A. <laughs> you know, L.A. I'm so confused. You're playing different regions. Why would they know? the middle east to be delivered to him oh so he's just recommending like food genres and then yeah. you're ordering it I from, order that from here restaurant. Oh, okay. from yeah, restaurant okay, okay, here okay. yeah that yeah. has that genre <laughs> the, of food. Gears, so the gears were fucking <laughs> no, 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 going no 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 because no, 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 i'm under the impression that you're in a completely different country and then you're just like hey i'm trying to order food from this restaurant no, he's not and then going they, to tokyo he's so in valorant yeah he's playing in a different region i know so that he, part i i understand i, I understand yeah, how it works now but i was just under a different impression yeah okay okay this makes sense I yeah. thought I, I was like watching that and I had like a smile on my face. Like, this is such a good idea. Mm. That is so awesome. That's very smart. Yeah. And it's it's good because it pulls in people from all the all sorts yeah, of yeah. communities. They're like, mm. oh my God, I'm from Bahrain. Oh, Actual what? world domination. Yeah. That's <laughs> step number seven. Step number seven, by the way. This is step number seven. And I planned this two years ago. Yeah. So yeah. here we are. I can't wait to see two years from now, like how many more. Or, or if it's well, just done, I can't You're wait retired. to see mukbang a, YouTube streams. Like, they're gonna be so good. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just throws that in there, right? And adds to the video. So, I mean, another thing too that I, I wanted, and this this can make the, it can enhance the series even better. I was gonna travel to the place. Oh mm-hmm. shit! Yeah, and then play Valorant and their stuff, and then you know, and then that's okay. Now that you're saying that, I don't sound as crazy because that's what I pictured that you were doing is that you would get a recommendation and then you would go to that actual place, whether that's like international, yeah, and then you exactly. order. Okay, yeah, yeah, and then that's like I, I just actually live there for a little bit, and then seven I, months, yeah, buy property. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it'd be it'd be cool, but you know, uh, this is step one. You know, it could I could work towards this that. is only step one. This is step seven A. <laughs> step seven A. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have we have thirteen written down, so you'll see. You'll this see. is very we exciting. Lot, we got a lot of stuff. Cooking. I can't wait to be along for it. Yeah. Just like, good job. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. mom with a on a <laughs> on her phone. Yeah. So I yeah I went to Bahrain. They were like yeah try shawarma, and I was like I've never I've never tried it. And that's another thing too is like I haven't I'm I'm from Florida, and like in Florida I was we don't like, have I, we have. I, I mean, yeah. at least where I was from, you know, like yeah. it, it was like a no, like a no name. I mean, not no name, but it's like very small town with not food, like many food places. Like, to even from. in Miami, like there's not there is like the the usual suspects, like you know, like Italian, Asian, like yeah. stuff like that. But even Asian food is very like uh, we only have like Japanese food. There's not a lot of there's not there's no Chinatown. I think in, <laughs> we, in yeah. Miami there's Dude, no like we didn't even have like Chinese like like places like yeah. we don't even have Asian like yeah. at all like. Food like I grew up in Miami 24 years and I I don't remember ever going to like a Koreatown yeah, when yeah. The, I, they told me they had a Koreatown here I was like oh that's 
that's cool that's cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh but yeah we just have like hispanic food that's like and specifically caribbean hispanic food like we don't even have really good mexican food over there yeah it's cool being out here and being able to do shit like that it's fucking great yeah i think yeah it brought such a smile to my face watching that it was like wow this is is like he's on to something yeah 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 I'm, i'm excited to see how the youtube would do for that like um i did it first on germany well i originally like the idea was to play i wanted to play like the frankfurt servers specifically to like a rank right yeah yeah because um i was gonna i was gonna do all regions to a specific rank um but then i was like "Ah, i don't know if it's gonna be that good of content but i'd rather just do like a couple episodes of like just appreciating the culture of the place this rather feels than, like, better for short short form and there's exactly. also like so it's like because i guess you keo and a couple others yeah. like kind of started this whole like to a certain rank and i yeah. feel like there's just so much content like that out now yeah like the challenges like that and if you can like flip it and do something it's the best way to do it yeah, yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. and it's i it, play on the germany servers till i'm immortal and i eat their food <laughs> and i eat their food while doing it. <laughs> and i laugh at them <laughs> <laughs> yeah no so and and frankfurt is known to be the most like toxic servers in valorant so i was, I was about like, to ask do you get grilled in a different language like every time oh yeah you oh yeah 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 it's real bad hell yeah, yeah. they're hell yeah they're they're pretty they're pretty bad but it, it makes for good content sometimes <laughs> yeah. so and some people are pretty wholesome so it's cool That's and good. i i would rather like focus more on like the wholesomeness of a region you know then like focus then on the focus toxic. on like toxic stuff i mean of course we can add it in there like maybe a little bit you know, just because it might be like for comedic value. Um, but I, the main focus is going to be like just, you know, the positive stuff, the wholesomeness, you know, kind of, kind of angle. Yeah. So then everyone's like, I'm from that country. And, you know, he likes this country, you know, kind of thing. Like, and that's the yeah. angle I'm, I'm kind of going with. So there's also good like moments for story like that. Like, um, did you ever watch Fitz? I haven't. No. Okay. So he was like a CSGO YouTuber. Okay. And there was this one video where he gets like in a game with a Vietnamese dude. And the guy's, like, really mean off the bat. But then by the end of the game, they're, like, best friends. Best friends? Yeah. And it was, oh, like, this cool. is the funniest video I've ever seen. It was, like, so, like, finding some shit like that could be cool, too. Like, yeah. I'm sure with That's your charisma, good. you can you can do some shit like Getting that. Getting people to like you is tough on the internet. No, when yeah. When they start it. mean, you got you to gotta play your cards very right. Yeah, That's you really do. One. Yeah. That's why it's so special when it happens. I feel like it's so easy for people to hate you. Like, oh, yeah. You oh, know, easy. I spawn the you internet. fuck up one play, and it's just like, I will hate you for the rest of my life. Yeah. At least for the rest of the game, yeah. I kind of approached the situation just being like, I could not care that you were being mean to me. Like, you just kind of, sometimes, and, and kind of, sometimes you go into the conversation just ignoring them. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just, uh, in the sense that you just don't even pretend like they're being mean to you, and they're just like, what the fuck? Why aren't you, why aren't you reacting? Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. Like, whatever, man. And then you continue the conversation on with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like overwhelming positive, you know, yeah. and then it just kind of yeah, it's like, like, well, this isn't way. working. I give up on that. Yeah. So he's like, you fucking idiot. Why didn't you plant the spikes? It's like, oh, man, you're right, dude. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try better next oh, time. Man, I, like, you're <laughs> right. Man, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> do it that way. Yeah, yeah. But I, um, I engage in a nuclear arms race when people start. Yeah, but you're start, good on your, your. Start hating on you're me. You're good. I he's like a good, witty, like. I love I love it when people shit talk me. It's great. It's so much fun. But I think I'm in the very, very small minority of people that enjoy that. I, I can't imagine like the shit other people have to go through when they don't have like the quick comebacks or anything like that. They yeah. go with some generic shit. They get roasted for it because they heard it a million times. Yeah. That's got to be rough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I understand. True. I get it. True, true, That's true. just my favorite thing on the planet. But it doesn't happen that often, believe it or not. I think it might be just because I'm playing in America. So maybe if I go to Europe, I'll, uh, I'll get to box some Russians or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Can... Can we talk more about your uh, your work with like NRG? Because yeah. I've seen a He's bunch really of stuff. He's really interested that's, in this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I want to know because it's just like working with a, a partnership or an org or just like running a, an own company on your own. Yeah. Like they're just. I feel like for the most part, from what I've heard as a content creator, is that they're gonna expect you to come to them with ideas, and then they'll help you like make that happen. Whether it's like budget or like a team oriented activity or anything. But I want to know like what it's been like working with NRG in terms of, uh, uh, I guess, your specific content. Because I've seen they post stuff that has you in it. Yeah. And I'm sure that you can reuse that content on your own. But yeah, I guess from the ground up, like, uh, how does that affect what you want to put out there? Yeah, so, um, well, with a lot of orgs, like, I will just say this. NRG does a lot of things right. With Mm -hmm. a lot of orgs, they do a lot of things wrong, right? Like, they'll just hire a bunch of content creators and then not get anything from them. And then they're just bleeding money. And that's why I was like, how do orgs make money even? 
They don't. Uh, well, yeah, most a lot orgs of them, are exactly. Yeah, are, I'd say like even like I mean every I can't think of one that is positive. I, I think maybe phase because of going public, but even then, like they don't make money. They yeah. they don't. It's yeah. So yeah. it's the ideal situation that they want to grab in big faces and then put out an idea or a video that they put out and then just profit off of that while also being able to pay the person that they yes. have the face in there for. Okay. Yeah, so that's the idea, right? They yeah, sign yeah. in yeah. content creators, they bring in those content creators, they film content with those creators, and then they try and monetize those, mm -hmm. the content that they make, right? Uh, so the issue is that they don't really get people to come in and record the content or, or something, or content creators in general. That happens with streamer houses a bunch. Like, yeah. oh, it's like, oh, we're going to put all these streamers in a house and they're going to hang out and make content. It's like they, and they never no, they even know. see each other. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of content creators are pretty lazy. Like, yeah. at least with what, I, what I've noticed. Like, That's scheduling true. anything with a lot of creators is a mess. It's like, it's super hard to do because like, they, and I mean, not only are they lazy, but they have like a lot of things going on in yeah. their lives, right? And it's like, it's so hard to just get like a bunch of people together because so many people are, have different schedules, right? It's not and time zones. As well. The thing is like with, with the nine to five, everyone knows you work nine to five. So then afterwards you can always hang out and, yeah. and do something after with this is like, you know, I stream this time. Oh, I stream in the mornings. I stream at night. It's like, Oh shit. What do we do? You know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> we're fucked. We, we, we won't see each other. You know what I mean? So I think the sporadicness and the scheduling for content creators makes it hard. But with NRG, like going back to what you were saying, it's mm -hmm. like, um, we go in once a week. I think we go, we go in like usually Tuesdays and we just film, oh, we film like three TikToks and a YouTube video, right? Where we get like, uh, I get like Willius to come in ethos, you know, and we just like fuck around and, and do whatever. So is that like an idea that they present yeah. to you or? Yeah. So oh, okay. yeah, they always okay. come with the ideas and we just kind of, we just do whatever. And, and they just like, take the face and then you guys just yep. do your, oh, we just wow. do whatever. Or they're just like, Hey, this TikTok dance is trending. Can you guys do it? We're like, all right, we're, we suck at it, but it'd be fun. Let's do it. And then we'll just learn it and then do it. And they post it on their on their TikTok page. Yeah, I feel like that's a really big thing about like collabing and content creation yeah. is that the only thing that'll get another content creator to agree with you is that you, if you come with them with an actual like concept or idea that they don't actually act uh, that they don't have to work on yeah. on their own time. It's right. just like if you present yeah, if them you, with the if idea. If you present it, it's like you just have to show up. You just have to show up and have everything's like, gonna be prepared for maybe, you. Maybe, maybe like uh, a funny bit, but for the most part, this is the concept of it. You just have to show up. Yeah. Like and even when we did the Valorant thing anybody. for you, like yeah. the the find the radiant, we were like just just show, show up. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah which yeah, was yeah. like which is perfect because like I don't have to think about it, I don't have to prep for it. I just it's like perfect, right? Yeah, I just schedule this alarm. time. Hear one horrifying sound. <laughs> <And like, laughs> yeah, I mean, and I've, I've I've done that before. Like I've seen videos that haven't even popped off that that I've been in, and just because they haven't popped off, like they didn't maybe advertise it right. But I've had people with a hundred subscribers literally reach out to me, and they're like, "Hey, I have this idea. You just need to come to this." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll I'll do that." Dude, I, this guy need... Noah. Noah, yeah, yeah. Noah. So he's a primarily Magic the Gathering content creator. Yeah. Like okay. cards and shit, the That's explaining cards. Yep. He start. He wanted to do this thing where he ma he made a game on like Google Docs. Like yeah. it's like a game with different slides, a store. Like you just have to get to the end of the the maze or whatever. Right. Uh, and he just came to us and or fish. And he was like fish brought me in too bold. It's like all you have to do is show up. I will tell you the rules right there, and then we'll start playing the game. And the, dude, that video did like seven hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Our other one, Holy by the shit. way, is, is also yeah, it's now we did like two. We did two of them, and they're both his two yeah, most not to popular brag videos. Or anything, his... but it is the most popular video today. But he is <laughs> such a nice guy, and it was so and he's funny, fun. and he's just so like, uh, what's the word? Uh, creative. Yeah, sure. creative, and just what's the word? Flat. I don't, I don't know. Just flat. Monotone. 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 That's it. Like the way that he delivered his words, so like monotone. It just works. And we're so all well. very it's animated. Like, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out that's to Magic good. the Noah. I love that dude. Magic the Noah. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. That's I sick. Just, I, I'll get you on in one of his. We should. We should get. You should get a bunch of Valorant streamers and fucking do it. Sure. That'd be so fucking sure. awesome. But I guess that's the takeaway. Is like if you can present an idea yeah. to anybody, most yeah. of the time they'd be like, oh. That sounds dope. All I need to do is come through. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, the problem is like coming up with an idea, but also it's it's different like having like a good idea and then it's like how do you market the good idea? You know, like you can have a good idea, but you can't have a good way of marketing it. So then it becomes a shit idea. Yeah. And that mm. is like a big thing that a lot of creators in general don't think about, right? It's like, you know, I've had people been like, or they just don't think about the nuances of stuff. Um, you know, like they'll do like... Um, 
I don't know. They'll like I've had people be like, "Oh, why don't you do like a, a martial only challenge where you only do the martial all the way to immortal?" And it's like, you know, that idea is okay, but it's like, well, what do you do for like pistol round? You know, where you can't yeah. buy the martial, and it's like, well, uh, you know, it's martial only except you can use the pistol. <laughs> you know, it, it, it starts like you know, it kind of gets a little like weird, and but not only that, but. Other people have also done the idea too, and it's like if you can't be just rinse and repeat. Also, you already did that content. Like yeah, you did the you, classic you, only. That that's the hardest one. It doesn't get harder than that, and yeah. then you've already done it. Like, yeah, exactly. The, you, you can't. You don't want to just keep doing like. You don't want to recycle too hard. And it's like it's good to take people's ideas and then kind of like spin it in a way and add your own creativeness to it. That's really good, but I just, think organic is also, which is the food thing. Like that yeah. happened completely organically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, this is an amazing idea. Like, yeah, it's it's great. Okay, so you you're doing a knife only to gold, right? Yes. But that's like you know you're not, or are you still you're still trying? Or? No, I mean I, I tried it for a bit, and then I got to like bronze one. Yeah. And it was struggling, and I'm like, mm. okay. Okay, yeah. so that, knife to yeah works. knife to gold, right? Yeah. Playing the game in that way. Because you're basically only using uh, game sense, right? Right, right. Did that change or, like, uh, affect the way you play the game, like, in your Radiant or uh, Ascendant Immortal lobbies? Um, well, so it made my aim a lot worse. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but it made me a little bit more patient and stuff. Uh, yeah. So there's always, like, things to, like, take from it, give and take. Uh, but, yeah, it, it made me worse. Yeah. yeah oh, not, so yeah, just at yeah, the end yeah, of the day, it was it, just it, worse. It's just it worse. Didn't, okay, yeah, it's enough. not... Because, like, at the same time, like, you're using that game sense anyway. You yeah. might as well use it with a gun. Yeah. And that's what Radiant player is. So yeah. it's like I'm, like, keeping my They're masturbators. My game... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they they are masturbators. <laughs> <laughs> the Val community as a whole, yeah. I remember uh, I was like, dude, how do I rank up? And he was like, dude, just rat. Like, just, just play like a rat. Just play like a rat. Just hide yeah. in corners. To forget what anybody's telling you. Just... Play like a rat, you'll be an ascendant in no time. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. I, it's just I. I'm so impatient. So I can't yeah. play Valorant. Yeah, he, he, I can't do yeah. it. It yeah. makes me so mad. There's every a new game mode coming out, Team Deathmatch. Yeah, they uh, came just out came today. out. Just came out today. That is gonna. It's really fun. That is like it's perfect for my ADHD brain, and like it's the same hype as like Overwatch, kind of like fast moving stuff. Mm -hmm. Because like, I, I can't, I can't do normal Valor, man. I get so mad just having to wait. Like if I play Raze, I'm double grenade packing into the exact same spot. Over it's so and over funny and over again. playing with him in the mini map. You just see, like on the other, we're all taking B. <laughs> He's on A, blast packs in, and yeah. then just <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time. It's why I play Brimstone because then I can just do Brimstone's voice, and then that's like how I have my fun. In oh Valor, yeah, he, so he does Brimstone's pretend. voice really good, yeah. mm. and he makes like TikTok content. I, I think it's fucking genius. Yeah, show him. I do. Oh, God, uh, hold on. I have to like. I have to like position. Hold on. I gotta, like push my voice like down for Brim. It's like Molly, Molly. All right, there we go. Jet, I need you to push A. If you don't push A, I'm fucked. Hey, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's really yeah. good. People will be like, wait, and are I you have the riot gun buddy? And then yeah, everyone's just like, lot. yeah, everyone's like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm Steve Bloom. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Damn, that's good. I'm actually 60 years old. I have a wife Dude, and four kids. I've always wanted to do voice acting stuff. Like, you know, I've, cause I, I have like a redeem like on Twitch. Like, I'll have like a bunk I redeem yeah. if you guys have watched Bleach and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. But guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do uh, Shusui's or uh, not Shusui. What's his name? I forgot. Anyway. From Naruto? No, 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 not Shusui. I forgot Shizu his name. The guy with the flower coat, Captain. Oh, oh that's super laid back with the long Yeah, hair. yeah, I do his. I do his. And. People yeah, it's been so long since I've watched Bleach. I don't even remember what his voice sounds like. I'll be entirely honest with you. But yeah. that dude's crazy. I love him. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll do that. Or I'll do like an R R redeem thing. Yeah, and then like I started looking up like voice actors. I, I, that shit is so weird to me. It's like... <laughs> I, you know, I, okay, I pride myself, well, oh, actually, no, I'm retired. Voices are attractive. I'm retired from anime. <laughs> he keeps saying. I'm retired no from anime, but it. I've seen a lot of anime. I have mm. never once heard an Ada Ada in any fucking anime. That's because it's from never hentai. Once. I think there was one in Demon oh. Slayer, but you don't like Demon Slayer. It's gotta be hentai. I've outed myself it's as a non-hentai oh, yeah, watcher. Yeah, Demon Slayer has one, yeah. Mm. I've outed myself as There's a non-hentai watcher. Demon Slayer? I think so, yeah. Uh, what's the name? Butterfly does it? Girl. Uh, I think she says that whenever she enough. appears. Wait, I'm pretty sure um, Jujutsu Kaisen has... What's his name? Again, I'm retired. These are all new animes. Okay. Well. Was it Gojo who says it? I don't think Gojo. No, Gojo does not say it. That That'd would be break. crazy. That, that, would, that would go hard. Though. <laughs> that would go hard. That would go hard. Yeah, if you ever want to go white-haired, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't, I don't mean, it, first of all, have we said what it means? I think it means I just like, oh my, basically, in English translation. It just means like, 
Oh my. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's like a very I was like it's like oh my. Way of, like you yeah. know like oh, okay. It's like oh my. George Ooh, Takei. Exactly. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now we're playing with fire. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They like it. I do it. So. There you go. Yeah. Money. So speech. is there anything you want to shout out? You want any any yes. cool shit you're coming out coming up? Um. Well, I mean the cool little series on Valorant where I'm going around the world. Uh, look out for that. Look out for that. You know, you could even there's a there's a uh, just like to add idea because I, I love shit like that. There's that music producer that he will fake like spin a globe. And then I'm going to find a rapper from here and it stops it and then makes a song with that person and then puts it out on Spotify. It could be cool. Like maybe spin it like that where you pick a random like server country and mm-hmm. then do this, do the same TikTok. Yeah. It'd be cool. Just like add a little bit more. To uh, yeah. It. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, I could do that. Yeah, there you go. I have this thing that I came up with uh, recently. I told them about it. It's like, if you ever want to do something nice with, for somebody, yeah. right, whether it be a significant other or a friend, you come up with the initial idea. Like I want to take this person out. Uh, or okay i want to um visit my friend while they're on break at work yeah that's a nice thing to do yeah okay now how do i make that idea better yeah so i'm gonna bring them a treat right uh now take it for the third time how do i make it better from there so i brought them one of my favorite desserts from my hometown that they had never tried uh and so i think like a cool thing to do is like come up with a cool idea yeah and then make it better three times yeah Mm -hmm. And it's it, instead of doing that one big romantic or yeah. cool gesture, it makes it easier because you start with something very simple and then like build Same on it. Same idea with yeah. content creation. Yeah. Content creation is, a, I think yeah. it's a cool thing to do. And it's just, busy. That's a cool idea. All right. I'm going to take it. <laughs> it's mine now. It's mine now. <laughs> we, uh, we, um, I think that's all the time we have yeah, left for today. Good. But yeah. Any last thoughts that you have? We're no, here no, weeks. I mean, got... yeah. How was your first mm-hmm. podcast? Yeah, yeah. This was sick. Yeah, this yeah. was fun. I, I mean, this is always chill to just talk and vibe. So thanks for Amazing. having me. Yeah, it was, yes. it was a blast. Do you have any words of wisdom yeah, for, yeah. for our viewers? Um, stay in school. Stay in school. All right, here's one for you. Um, if it's hard, finish it anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like it. I like it. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah not bad. Thank, you everyone, thank you, everyone, for tuning in for another episode of the Fish Tank Podcast. We will see you next week. A lot of this episode will be on the Patreon that you can find only exclusively on that website, which we will have a link in the description. So make sure you check out that. And um, once again, thank you, Joel's, for joining us. And Joel's TV on everything. Yes. J O L L Z TV. Yes. Yep, yep. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody. Adios. Bye-bye.